Hey everybody, today's focus is gonna be how well do toilet bowl cleaners disinfect? I'd like to give a shout out to one of my viewers, Colin. Colin suggested that I test how well Clorox bleach disinfects a toilet bowl. So that's what I'm gonna start with today, Clorox bleach. Then we'll move on to some other cleaners also. So Colin, this one is for you. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I run my like disinfecting tests, what I do is I take a Petri dish just like this and I have it divided into three separate areas, okay? Um, and I label them A, B, and C. I take a sterile swab and I swab an area that I'm going to clean and then test. So I'll swab it before I clean it and I put it in B for before, okay? And I'll clean the area with whatever disinfectant I'm testing, following the manufacturer's directions, swab it again, and put it on A after. C is a control. I don't put anything here. So let's see how well these toilet bowl cleaners disinfect. So today I'm using Colin's suggestion of Clorox bleach. I looked up on Clorox's website how they suggest you clean the toilet bowl. Flush the toilet pour one third of a cup of Clorox bleach into the bowl, scrub the bowl with your toilet brush, make sure you get under the rim, wait six minutes for disinfecting, flush the toilet again. Now for some results from Clorox bleach in the toilet bowl. All right, so as you can see here, the before cleaning, there's a lot of bacteria there. Way too many to count. You can't count those colonies, just smears of bacteria. And in the after cleaning with Clorox bleach, I counted about 50 colonies in the after area. I think Clorox bleach does a great job. There is a significant decrease in bacteria from before to after. I wonder though, Clorox bleach would work better if it were in the cling version, like the gel version, where it could actually sit on the toilet bowl for a bit longer. So the next cleaner I'm gonna test in my toilet bowl is the Clorox toilet bowl cleaner with bleach. I'm gonna read the instructions on how to use this toilet bowl cleaner. So to clean, sanitize, and disinfect the toilet bowl, flush the toilet, apply six ounces of the product under and around the rim to coat the inside of the bowl. For SARS, COVID-2, apply eight ounces. We're gonna do six ounces. Scrub the entire bowl with a stiff brush and allow it to sit for five minutes for sanitizing, 10 minutes for disinfecting. Okay, so don't allow kids near it, flush the toilet. So this is what we're gonna do. I have no idea how to screw it six ounces up around my toilet rims. I will measure out six ounces and pour it the best I can around the toilet rim. It's not gonna get right underneath there, but it's gonna have to be the best I can and I'll scrub it with the toilet brush. Um, then we'll let it sit for the 10 minutes for disinfecting, flush, and then resample.
let's get some results. So looking at the Petri dish, you can see in the area B for before, lots of bacteria. Too many to count, lots of bacteria there. And then A after, I only count two colonies. That's it, just two. I think the Clorox toilet bowl cleaner with bleach does a fantastic job at disinfecting the toilet. To disinfect the toilet bowl, we're going to use half a cup of pine saw into the bowl, uh, swirl it around and scrub with the toilet brush. the toilet bowl. So as you can see, actually you have a picture there, so I'll hold it this way so I can see. B was before, and you can see there's plenty of bacteria there in B. Now in the A section, after we disinfected with the pine saw, we can see there's definitely less bacteria, but there's still quite a bit. Would I say to kill 99.9% of germs? No. Not super impressed with its ability to clean and disinfect a toilet. All right, the next toilet bowl cleaner I'm gonna test is Lysol with hydrogen peroxide. So it says zero bleach in it. Let's read how to sanitize. So the instructions for Lysol toilet bowl cleaner are totally different than the other ones I've read so far. So I need to pay attention, make sure I do things in the right order. So to sanitize, we're gonna empty the bowl, so we'll flush. Remove excess dirt by scrubbing. Step three, apply at least four ounces to coat the bowl, including under the rim. I'll measure it out and I'll get as close as I can to the rim. Do not close the lid. Scrub the entire bowl and under the rim thoroughly. Let sit for five minutes, then flush. So I do wanna let you know that I have been cleaning the scrub brush in between each cleaning also. So I have been doing that. All right, let's get started. One thing I noticed right away using the Lysol cleaner is that it is super sudsy, like really, really, really sudsy. And even after rinsing by flushing, there are still um, suds in the toilet bowl. Now for results, the Lysol hydrogen peroxide. So as you can see here, the before, tons of bacteria, right? And that after, super disappointing. That's a ton of bacteria. That's super disappointing, I think. So I gotta say that I don't think that the Lysol hydrogen peroxide cleaner is very effective. The last toilet bowl cleaner, I'm gonna try something more natural. So I Googled natural toilet bowl cleaners, a whole slew of things come up, but I kept seeing the same sort of recipe over and over and over again. So I printed one from Do It Yourself Natural and also from Women's World. They were both basically the same, in which case you would use a half a cup of baking soda, one cup of white vinegar, 
and 20 drops of tea tree essential oil. I have all those things, so I'm gonna give it a try. To make your cleaner, place all ingredients in a spray bottle and shake before each use. To use your cleaner, spray it all around your toilet bowl when you're ready to clean it. Allow it to sit for two to five minutes before scrubbing. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna half the recipe because I don't think I need all of it to clean the toilet. So I'm gonna use half a cup of white vinegar, a quarter cup of baking soda, in 10 drops of the tea tree essential oil. So my spray bottle won't spray. So I'm gonna just kind of swish it around and let it sit for five. Now some results for the vinegar, baking soda, and tea tree oil. So as you can see here, uh, the before section has a lot of bacteria in it, and unfortunately, the after section also has a lot of bacteria in it. So I would say that the baking soda, vinegar, and tea tree oil uh, combination is not an effective cleaner for the toilet bowl. So I tested five different cleaners to see how well they disinfect in my toilet bowl. Then I ranked them in order of their performance. So let's see, so number five, so the worst one, the one to clean the worst uh, was the baking soda, vinegar, and tea tree oil. Number four was the pine sol. Number three was the Lysol hydrogen peroxide toilet cleaner. Number two was just pure liquid bleach. And my number one cleaner that disinfected my toilet bowl the best was Clorox brand toilet bowl cleaner with bleach. So thank you for watching me clean my toilet bowl many times. I appreciate it. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see me test out and clean, put in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day.